Hi everybody, this is Carlos Carrazo and I am a tax supervisor over at Smith Marion & Company. Today I will be going over the basics of the 2020 W-4. First, for employers. The only employees that must use this new form are all new hires and current employees that want to change their withholdings. There is no rule in place that says all employees must fin fill one of these out by the end of 2020. Now for employees. Let's go over the basics of filling out this form. For taxpayers with a single stream of income, for example, having one job, you only need to complete steps one and five. For step one, you need to include your name, address, social security number, and filing status. And you can choose between single or married filing separately, married filing jointly, or head of household. For step five, you simply need to sign and date the form. The result of this filing will be that at the end of the year, your tax refund will be $0 or your balance due will be $0. For taxpayers with a more complicated tax situation, you may need to complete steps two, three, and or four. For step two, you need to complete this if you are a single taxpayer and work multiple jobs throughout the year, or if you're a married couple and one person makes significantly more income than the other. You simply need to follow the steps listed on the form for step two. For step three, you need to complete this if you claim dependence on your return and you meet the income limits of $200,000 for single, married, filing separate, or head of household, or the upper limit of $400,000 for married, filing joint. The first line is for claiming dependents that are 16 and under by the end of the tax year. So for this year, which is December 31st, 2020. If the child turns 17 before December 31st, 2020, do not use this line because the child is not eligible for the $2,000 child tax credit and will cause your withholdings to be underestimated. The second line is for claiming all other dependents. So this can be children aged 17 to 24 if they are students and you support them, for a full definition, please consult your tax professional on children's age 17 to 24. This line also includes friends and family members you can claim as dependents on your return. Once again, for a full definition, please consult your tax professional. Calculate the dollar amount for the number of dependents on your return and place the figures on the corresponding lines. Lastly, we come to step four. On line 4A, you will list any other forms of income you receive that typically do not receive withholding. This includes things like interest and dividend income, rental property income, and retirement income if it does not already have withholding on it. On line 4B, you want to list your expected itemized deductions if you do not take the standard deduction. And on line 4C, you can enter an amount of extra withholding to be taken out of your check if you feel the current level of withholding calculated on this form does not cover your estimated tax liability. And that is a basic overview of the 2020 W-4. Remember, the goal of this form is to make your tax refund or balance due zero or as close to zero as possible. Thank you and have a good day.